Now we are going to go through the workflow for the different auscultation positions. Now the auscultation mode is in Bell. The patient is sitting. This is the aortic position. This is the auscultation waveform. Now we are measuring for the pulmonic position. This is the pulmonic waveform. The third position is the tricuspid. Tricuspid waveform. This is the mitral position. Mitral waveform. I'm just going to measure the ECG vector points, V1 to V6. Now I am measuring ECG vector points, V1. This is the auscultation waveform, V1. ECG vector point, V2, V2 waveform. ECG vector point, V3, V3 waveform. ECG vector point, V4. V4 waveform. V5. V5 waveform. V6. V6 waveform. These are the same positions for dia and lung. My patient, who has personal training experience, is now in the supine position. First, we are going to check the aortic position. Aortic waveform. Pulmonic position. This is the auscultation waveform for pulmonic. The third position is the tricuspid. Tricuspid waveform. This is the mitral position. Mitral waveform. ECG vector points in supine position. V2. V2 waveform. ECG vector point V3. V3 waveform. ECG vector point V4. V4 waveform. V5 in the supine position. V5 waveform. V6 in supine position. V6 waveform. Now I am measuring auscultation waveforms for the left lateral decubitus position. Aortic waveform. Now we are at the pulmonic position. Pulmonic waveform. Tricuspid position. Tricuspid waveform. Mitral position. Mitral waveform. ECG vector points for the left lateral decubitus position, V1 waveform. 